good to Sorry, feel, we not do just that. get sad, but to be as disruptive as you were on Saturday. Um, I think I really showed some emotion that I haven't really showed all season this year. And uh, just as a team and as a defense, we were really feeling it Saturday night. And we were just out there having so much fun. So, of course, to make a big play that early in the game, it was, it was really exciting. Joey, do you guys feel as a team like you're starting to turn a corner a little bit? I mean, you had to answer questions for like the whole first month. What's wrong with Ohio State? Yeah. Is there some sense that maybe that's in the past for you all? Or maybe you don't worry about it anyway. But is that over with? Yeah. We're, I don't think we were ever worried. Um, I think we're just focusing on getting better every week. And that's. I think we've been doing that. And we played a really good team game. Uh, still have mis some mistakes that we need to fix. But it's great to. Uh, be able to show that we're getting better. You had to go through some of that too, personally, when we were badgered you about the sack totals and things like that. Is that is that frustrating <clears throat> for, for you personally or as a team to have to answer those questions if you don't, you know, feel like it applies? Um, I mean, I wasn't really focused on my numbers or anything. I'm just focused on, because once once I get thinking about stuff like that, then it'll just keep affecting me, and I won't be playing how I want to play. Um, I think I was I was playing. I mean, I think I was playing how I want to play. And if I if I continue to just do what the defense needs me to do, I know that the plays will come my way. And as long as we keep winning, I'm going to be happy. Are you focused on Adolphus Washington's numbers? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, the, the he's. Column, I mean, is well, what's come over <coughs> him uh, this year? Okay. Uh, I think he's at his spot three technique. I mean, he played nose last year, and he, I don't think he's really a nose guard. But um, I'm happy that he's playing great. I think the D-line as a whole has been playing really good. And uh, it's always great to see when, when your guys on the line are playing good. Well, specifically with Adolphus, though, what do you, what do you see in this like different? I mean, is there more fire there? Is it more like confidence? What, what, do, you, what do you see from yeah, a fellow I, defensive lineman standpoint? I definitely think he's confident. Uh, I mean, he has all the talent in the world. No three technique can pass rush like he can in, the, in college football. Uh -huh. I don't believe there's anybody that is is quick and good with his hands, and um, I think he's finally starting to show what he could do. Joe Adolphus said that you guys had some conversations this summer about this coming season and how he wanted to perform. Can you maybe share some of the things you guys discussed? Um, I think he just wants to be the best three technique in the country, and um, I think the way he played Saturday, uh, I can't really see how that's not true. You said you played with more emotion Saturday than you've been playing with. So, like, do you need your teammates to insult you before facing <laughs> Rutgers? I mean, how do you get to that place again if that helped on Saturday? Um, I mean, what I was saying about the black jerseys last week, how it's whatever, but I mean, it really got the team excited. Um, it was this energy, I don't know, it was just felt different in the locker room before the game, big game, blackout, uh, playing Penn State the way it ended last year. Um, I think it just had everybody on the team, not just me, especially emotional and ready to go. And uh, hopefully we could carry that on to next week and the weeks to come. You assessed it's just the state of the defense. Where is it now? You, give, you gave up some big plays last week, but you know, that's a lot of good things you guys are doing. Yeah, overall, I think we played good. Um, there's some mental mistakes that some of our guys made to let those big runs go. And you take take a few of those away. I mean, that'd be a really good performance by the defense. I th still think it it was a good performance, but of course, we're never satisfied with where we are. And uh, that running back was a good player. And uh, I mean, he just he just made some plays. It's gonna happen. But you just gotta every or um, the next play is always the most important one. Joey, you guys, do you, yeah, Joey, do you <coughs> enjoy moving down to defensive tackle in that Rushman package? Uh, yeah, especially when I get single teamed. I like going down <laughs> in the middle. But yeah, uh, I think getting our best pass rushers out there, it's just fun to fly after the quarterback and pretty much having all four of us getting there at the same time. And now with Tommy out for the foreseeable future, do you think you might get, you guys might use that more on first and second down? I think it's primarily been a third down play for you guys. Uh, I think our backups, Joel Hale and uh, Mike Hill at Nose Guard, have been playing well. And we got a freshman, uh, Robert Landers, who's going to come up and help us. But um, I think they've been playing solid. They're doing their job. They're making plays. And I don't think we're worried at all. I mean, of course, it sucks to lose Tommy. 
but he'll he'll be back, and I think I think we'll be good inside. What kind of chip does he get from you guys, fellow defensive lineman, for playing Saturday night despite knowing he had, uh, you know, I, I guess a broken bone in his hand or his wrist and stuff? What what does it, you know, what I mean? What kind of badge of honor does he get for something like that from uh, fellow guys? Love to see a guy come out and battle. He he really hasn't complained about it at all. At all. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty annoying having that big club on his arm, of course. But uh, he said it didn't really bother him that much until uh, I think it was the play before his sack. He he hit his hand pretty bad. So I'm I'm happy that he got out there and played well himself. Did you guys watch? Did y'all watch video? And I'm just wondering, did you what, did you get to see Booker much? I mean, what what's your take on the way he? Stepped into a <clears throat> tough situation there with Joshua missing and stuff. Uh, how yeah. did those guys play, in your opinion? I was I was thinking about it, and um, when Josh went down, no, I didn't sense anybody panicked or anything. And he's such a leader to this team and to this defense. Mm -hmm. um, usually, when some a guy like that goes down on a team, it's panic and like, oh no, what we're gonna do? And I don't, th I didn't sense any of that, and. Our, our um, book came out, played a really good game, and Cam actually came out and played really well as two. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, got that call um, in the fourth quarter, whenever it was. But um, I'm happy that our defense wasn't worried at all. Of course, we're worried for Josh, but we're not we're not panicking when he goes down because we got guys to come in and fill and play just as well. Joey, we talked a lot last year about your play to end the Penn State game. There seemed to be there's another play. This Saturday against Penn State, when you just like drove the guard or drove the guy who was blocking you back into the backfield, what goes into just like rushing through a guy? What is the art of just like knocking yeah. the guy backwards five yards? Uh, I think our game plan on 59, who's the right tackle, um, was definitely power rush this week because on film he kind of it showed that he was giving it up. So. I wasn't really trying to run around him or do anything special. I was just working all week on that, bringing it to him and bringing the power rush. So uh, I think that helped. What, how, how good is that part of your game? Do you think in all the moves you have, how's the power rush? I think every different move helps each other because I gotta, I gotta set up my speed rushes or any other rush with the power. Because if if I can't do both of them, then they'll be expecting one. So you gotta play off. Each of, each of the moves. And how much of that, like a power rush, is it just <clears throat> like raw strength, or how much is it the technique and uh, to get leverage and everything? I think, um, I mean, there's two hand power rush where you're just bull rushing the guy. Then there's a long arm where if you get it in the right spot, you'll just tip the guy right over. There's some there's some good uh, shots of Taekwon and me getting him. In camp, on some of the guys, once if you get it right in the spot, they just fall right over. Have you become? Uh, where have you become better? Definitely, when you watch video, you were talking about this last week or week ago about you can see things that you're better at than most that most people <coughs> don't. But like for example, there's another play on Saturday night where you just engaged a guy and seemed to have total awareness where the ball was going. You came off him and and planted their their running back. Uh, I know you probably remember that was a classic tackle. <coughs> yeah, but. Are those things that you're better at now than a year ago? I mean, just awareness or technique. Where, where, where do you where do you really give yourself credit for improvement? Yeah, um, I've actually never played that play in practice. Huh. Three technique. I saw the saw the running back to my side. So when when you see that, you think you got to squeeze, mm -hmm. and that just clicked in my head right before. Even though I was at three technique, it's kind of the same on the end. So mm -hmm. I squeezed them down, and I ended up just reacting naturally and it ended up uh, being pretty much exactly how coach wanted it to be played. What is so. it like to make a play like, I mean, a sack is a big deal to you, but what is it like to make a play like that, Joey? Where, how does that how does that rank in the feel good uh, uh, I don't know, it didn't, didn't physically feel really good. It was yeah. a pretty nice <laughs> headshot, but um, yeah, to end the game, I think it was the last play I was in to end it on a high note like that. Mm -hmm. um, it was definitely a good feeling. What so have you seen of Rutgers? Beat a blocker, would you rather go around him or go through him? Um, personally, I like going around guys, but uh, through is equally, I guess, is effective. <laughs> what have you seen of Rutgers, All the especially way. their offensive line? Have Say you that seen you? much of Rutgers? Oh, I haven't really watched any film yet. I'm still uh, just getting
getting the body right after How do you Saturday. Feel physically this year? Huh? How do you feel physically this year? Um, it, it's a it's a long season. I mean, there's just a bunch of little bumps and bruises that are annoying, but uh, you got to fight through them. And um, I think relatively, I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. That you're giving giving more than you're getting. Say that again. Give you a little consolation. You're giving. Yeah, more yeah, exactly. Joe, when you play your position, what is the balance you try to set <clears throat> between your strength and your speed? And is there any, you know, if you get too big, would you lose any speed? If you're too quick, would you maybe not have the strength you need? What is that a tough balance, or is it not that big a deal? Yeah, I think I've, I've pretty much been at the same weight and size, just working on strength and speed. Um, that's not really a worry anymore. I'm kind of stuck at my weight, and it's not really fluctuating at all. Joe, you kind of asked this a minute ago, but I, I want to follow up with another. After the Penn State game last year when y'all escaped with a double overtime <clears throat> win, you were telling us after the game it was everybody was asking you what was wrong, and you felt there was a lot right <laughs> after that game. You remember that, I'm sure. But uh, do, do, you, do you feel the same way about this team now? What is your sense halfway through this year? Is there – can there be something special about this team? Do you, do you sense the same kind of feeling, I guess? Yeah, I mean, now that you say it, I, I guess it's a pretty similar feeling, pretty similar moment. Uh, a little different because last year it was more the aspect of the team coming together at mm -hmm. double overtime and pushing through all the fatigue. And I guess this year it's more that we're finally clicking all nine units, at least we're getting close to all nine of them playing strong um, so it's I think we got a bright future moving forward as long as we focus on every day and just getting better every day Great. Joey, thank you very much. Yep. Thanks. Thanks.